Hey, so welcome to the video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change cassettes on the Camon LS42. Now, these are the free swinging blades, and what we have on the aerator at the moment is the renovation blades. So I'm going to be showing you how to change them, and of all the blades, it's the same process, it's the same principle. So before I start taking anything apart, what I like to do is get a tray. In this case, it's a magnetic tray, just so I don't lose any bolts. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the guard for the belt and then the guard over this side too. So the next step is to take this belt off. One thing I found just then is the blades are touching the ground, so as I'm trying to spin this round, it's actually the blades are stopping, so I'm gonna just lift the blades off the ground just to make it easier to turn. And it's just a case of just working. Now what we want to do, the problem we're going to have is obviously we can take these nuts off here so that this bearing comes off and then the cassette's going to drop. As you can see on this one, we need to remove the bolts so it can drop out. The problem is, is there's no room for these bolts to come out, so this has to come off. First thing I'm going to do is just remove these two threads. And I'm just using a little H5. Now you might struggle to take this off, so what you may need is a tool like this, which is a gear puller. This is a three-legged one, although I've only got two legs on at the moment. Okay, so you wind it up until you get resistance and it's caught where it is. And then this is a 15 mil. And there it is, it's off. You have to be careful when you're doing this that you don't bend this so you need to keep an eye on that and there we go so what I'm going to do is then loosen these off with the allen key just to make life a bit easier So very carefully, bearing in mind the uh, air filters at the top, turn this up on its end. Now bearing in mind the air filters at the top, what I've done is I've turned the engine or the, the unit very carefully so it's doing an endo. And what I now need to do is remove that bolt there. These are a little bit loose. And there was over here. Again, these are 13s. And by taking this out, just means this can slide down. And then here slides out. Last time I took this off, before I took it off, I marked off which side the belt was. There we go, belt side. Just so I knew when I put it back on, particularly when the times wear, you may struggle to remember which way they're on they go. So here we go, slide this back into place straight back in while we put it in this position. So 
So one thing I need to watch now is that the little wood rough key has fallen out. So what I want to do is just put the wood rough key in and then a little bit of tape just to make sure it doesn't fall out. So now we want to put things back together. Okay, so now just line these two up, place it back on, give it a bit of that. Spin it round. So now this is all back in place. Spin this round fine. What we now need to do is to take this tape off. Here we are, we're just going to take these bolts back out. I could use the old pulley, but what I'll do is mix them up, spread the wear. And I need to get this wood rough key lined up with this gap here. Okay, so what happens here is this needs to come apart. This is stuck together like this, all I want to do is with the hammer and the handle, just give it a knock like that, knock it out loose. So this is going to go on like so, and then we're going to line this up. Oh. Now we want to get this all lined up, so... lined up and it's on. Now this is on we're just going to add these bolts back in. There we go. So now is you place the blade. Sorry, the belt. Careful not to pinch your fingers. Yes. So now this is all put back on together. All we need to do is put the guards back on. That is how you change the cartridge on the Camon LS42.